Let's do this. Hi guys, it's ASBYT and this is a very intriguing mystery package right here. Don't worry, it's not a clue that I'm packing my bags and leaving YouTube behind, although some of you might actually prefer if that were true. All will become clear very soon. So this mystery suitcase was sent to me by Realme, who are sponsoring today's first look at their brand new smartphone release. So let's open it up, let's dig inside and see what the mastery beyond speed is all about. So Realme actually sent across two phones, the Realme GT Master Edition, and inside this wonderfully packaged suitcase is the GT Explorer Edition. And I'm actually gonna be giving away one of these two smartphones in this video today. All you have to do to enter is watch the video and comment on one specific feature that you really like about this smartphone and you will be entered into a random draw to win one of these two handsets. So these two new phones are slight refinements of the original Realme GT smartphone, which I have reviewed already on the channel. There are many similarities between the three phones, but there are also some pretty special differences as you'll see. So firstly, these two new phones were actually designed in collaboration with world famous designer Naoto Fukasawa. I hope I pronounced that right. Sorry, Mr. Fukasawa, if I butchered your name, it was never the intention. Now he's actually been quoted as saying, traveling has played an important role in his life, allowing him to learn the differences existing in the world and what real design is. He wanted to design the phone for all people, especially for the positive, active and lively person. Now that's not to say if you enjoy sitting on your couch and watching a good movie, then these phones aren't for you. But because of this idea of travel, he came up with this kind of suitcase design to apparently arouse people's urge to travel and explore. Does it? Does it make you want to travel? Let me know in the comments. So here are all three phones. And personally, I really do like the new suitcase design. I actually prefer it, I think, to the original. You have this grey, matte, vegan leather finish on the back of both the new ones, with the Realme text and signature next to the camera setup top left. But the implementation on the Explorer Edition is actually my personal favourite of the three. Ugh. Excuse me? <laughs> Apparently I'm a teenager again. The Explorer Edition design is my personal favourite of the three, and in fact, I think it's actually one of my favorite smartphone designs period at the moment. It looks and feels really premium and almost industrial, which I love. Outside of the camera rig, which is slightly different in appearance on the newer models, more on the actual camera performance later, aesthetics wise, we also have sharper edges on the Explorer, but only a headphone jack on the Master, like the GT standard. The Master also has a flat display to the curved on the Explorer, with both containing a 32 megapixel selfie shooter. Mmm, I look good. <laughs> Definitely not. From a display point of view, everything looks a little more symmetrical on the Explorer in terms of the bezel sizes, top and bottom. But both have a 120Hz Samsung AMOLED panel. Nice and bright, vibrant and smooth on the scroll and large enough at 6.43 inches and 6.55 inches for watching movies or gaming, etc. But not too bulky either. And the Explorer is actually ever so slightly thinner or narrower, should I say, uh, than the master and it is noticeable very slight but noticeable in the hand and it just feels that little bit more comfortable for me if you were to pick up the gt standard and gt master you wouldn't notice really any difference from the front they look pretty much identical now here comes the interesting slash confusing slash thought-provoking part of the video where we talk about the internal hardware of the three phones and subsequent performance because they all have different chipsets, similar but different importantly, but the results of those differences might actually surprise you a little bit. So the Realme GT standard has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, the GT Explorer Snapdragon 870, and the GT Master Snapdragon 778G. But what do those numbers actually mean and what order should we expect the performance to be in? Excuse me, I'm doing a video notifications, man, come on. I've lost my train of thought. What do the numbers mean? What do we expect in terms of performance because of those numbers? And do we actually get that reflected in real world use, benchmarks, etc.? 
Well, the 888 inside the standard GT is the highest end of the three. It's the 2021 Ultra Premium flagship chip. The 778G inside the Master Edition is like a mid to high end chip. Still really strong, but not quite on the same level. And then you have the 870 in the Explorer Edition, which is kind of like what Qualcomm could produce, the highest end flagship chip that they could produce maybe four, five, six months ago. So it's the Snapdragon 865 Plus on another level. It's almost like an 865 Plus Plus, if that makes any sense. It's a very minor tweak version of last year's, the end of last year's really top high-end flagship chip. But as you can see, even though it is still built on a seven nanometer process, unlike the five nanometer on the 888 chipset, it competes. So with these chips, I was expecting the order to be 888, 870, 778G. And while we got that, look how close the performance was between the 888 and the 870. And the 778G isn't too shabby either. Three great chips, all fine for gaming and multitasking to your heart's content and crushing the day to day. But Yet again, more options to suit more people. Now also on internal structure, there's something that's quite interesting with these two new phones. As you can actually add to the RAM allocation manually in your settings on the two special editions, which you can't do on the standard GT. As you can see here, I have a standard 12 gigabytes of RAM on the Explorer device, but you can also select RAM expansion where you can use up to seven gigabytes of storage space as additional RAM. And you can do a similar thing on the master edition. But like I said, not on the standard. Not sure why you can't on the original, but the new ones again have that extra feature. All phones come with the same 65 watt super dark charging tech, which is absolutely rapid, not to 100% in about half an hour. 4,500 mAh battery on the GT and GT Explorer, 4,300 mAh on the Master Edition, even though it has basically the same footprint as the GT Standard. Bit confused as to why they've reduced the battery there, but it's probably fairly minor in terms of what you would get in day-to-day -day use. All have the same connectivity also with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, NFC, etc. And all come rocking the same Realme UI 2.0 software over Android 11. I do like the updates Realme have made to the 2.0 version. It feels a lot cleaner, closer to stock, but still has some handy customization options from themes to fonts to always on display choices, etc. There are some bloatware apps, but nothing you can't edit to cater to your own tastes. And then there's the cameras. All have a triple camera array, and from what I can see, the GT and GT Master have basically the same 64 megapixel primary sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel macro. But the Explorer has a Sony IMX766 50 megapixel primary sensor with optical image stabilization, and a 60 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro. In the short time testing them, the Explorer seems to produce slightly brighter, more eye-catching shots to the other two. The ultra-wide on the Explorer also seems to produce slightly sharper, more detailed images. And personally, all of the three probably, in my opinion, could have done away with the macro lens. I'm not a massive fan. I know a lot of smartphone manufacturers do it because it's fairly cheap to produce and gives people options. That's fine. I would personally prefer to see a telephoto lens, even if it was just two times optical zoom, for example, just to make those zoom shots just that little bit more detailed, just a, a, a sharper image. Now, none of them have the same moving subject portrait capabilities of a Pixel phone, for example. Um, not many smartphones do, to be quite frank. But sometimes when you are taking pictures and there is movement, you will get a little bit of motion blur. But if that portrait focal point is stationary, you can get some lovely shots. You do have DIS Quick Capture to help with moving shots where you can press the volume button to take a quick snap and the camera will auto adjust the exposure time to reduce that blur. It's not perfect, but it does help. As always with Realme phones, there are plenty of options to be creative on camera with things like street and tilt shift photography and starry mode, to name a few. So I absolutely love the designs of these two new phones, but the internal chip choices are key in providing great performance and a healthy price tag. Because you can get the uh, Master Edition for starting from just 399 and the Explorer Edition 
from 499. So they are right in that mid-range bracket with some flagship killer qualities, you have to, you have to say. If price is the number one most important thing for you, then I would obviously recommend the Master Edition. It is the cheapest of the three. If having the best possible chipset going is the most important thing for you, then I would stick with the GT standard. But for me personally, as an all-round phone, bit of an itchy eye there, I think the Explore Edition is the most well-rounded device. I think it, it offers the most premium experience in a smartphone and only only a fraction uh, less in terms of that chipset performance. Um, three great phones, different prices for different needs. Uh, let me know in the comments which of the three you would go for if you were indeed looking to buy one. And are Realme becoming the new flagship killer kings of the market? Let me know what you think. And best of luck for the giveaway. Again, let me know in the comments which uh, feature you like best out of uh, all we've talked about today. And one person will be selected at random. And that is enough hand movements for one video. So I'll love you and leave you. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Sub if you're new to the channel and love everything tech. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.